If you've ever wondered about taking photos in a nightclub environment, if you're just starting out and can't find the answers you're looking for, if you're a photographer and want to take your work to the next level, this is the Nightclub Photography Show, this is season one, and this starts right now. Welcome to the Nightclub Photography Show. I'm your host, Ben Trabaco, and this is episode one. Okay, so today on the show, I just want to give a quick introduction as to what we plan on doing with the show. Um, basically, there isn't a lot of content out there for photographers like us that are trying to learn this skill, and uh, there's a lot of general information of how to use your camera, how to light in certain circumstances, but nightclub photography is very particular. It's a very specialized field, and there's a lot going on. There's a lot to think about, and yeah, hopefully this can be a resource um, to take your photography to the next level and hopefully we can all learn from each other and, and it be a valuable thing. We should start by defining what we mean by nightclub photography. Now, um, these skills for shooting in a low light environment with uh, a lot of people are translatable to other types of photography. If you like shooting sports events, for example, with uh, heavy uh, stage lighting, if you like shooting bands or music acts of any kind, these are the kind of skills you're gonna need to uh, develop. Now, one of the things we're not going to be doing on the Nightclub Photography Show is uh, talking about settings in a parrot fashion type way. Now, when I first started, I was desperate to find out what settings did you use, what settings did you use. It was always the question that, that, that I asked other photographers. And when I was searching through thousands and thousands of images online, I was always trying to find out exactly what settings they were. The problem with that technique of trying to find a magic bullet, as it were, and trying to find um, a better way to shoot every time is that if I give someone a, a camera which is set perfectly for, for a certain type of shot, anyone can take a, a few nice photos. When something changes, the lighting changes, or something's wrong, they look at the camera and they don't know how to correct it. What's far, far more useful is understanding exactly what aperture does, what shutter speed does, and what your ISO does. There's also other factors to consider, like uh, the orientation of your flash, for example and in the long run it's going to help you um, learn correctly. Now half the job uh, of a photographer happens away from the nightclub and it's to do with the editing process and finding an efficient and effective way to edit, export and share your images is really important. Um, similarly to what we discussed uh, before, uh, there's a thing called presets which allow you uh, to adjust all your images in one go and really um, you can apply uh, every uh, different adjustment uh, to uh, every image you do. Now there is value in that for sure and it is a nice shortcut but it's much more important to, to really go on your own journey and discover exactly uh, what settings you like as a photographer to create the kind of image that you want to put out there. Um, you know, just to take uh, someone else's preset, to shove it on your images, might make your images look a certain style for a while. But then again, similarly to what we said before, um, you know, once there are things in the image that you want to adjust, it's much, much more valuable to really understand exactly the minutia of, of the things uh, within uh, the editing, editing software uh, that you're using. Now, because this is uh, episode one of uh, season one, uh, we're still trying to work out exactly the best kind of content to have on the channel. Um, I'm well aware that there's some photographers who've never picked up a camera before. It doesn't make sense, but they're a photographer when they pick up a camera. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, but if they want to get into it, then certainly we want to create uh, shows that are, are good, uh, useful for them. Um, so in season two, we will definitely uh, tackle uh, aperture, shutter speed, and uh, ISO. But with those episodes, I would like to give it a little bit of a nightclub photography twist. Uh, just to create something a bit different because I'm well aware that there's a ton of very uh, high quality content out there or already in various forms. I would love to hear from some uh, advanced photographers as well. Uh, I, I'm, I don't want to make the show uh, too uh, esoteric for you guys um, so I want it to be a bit more inclusive uh, but certainly I'd love to have uh, some advanced uh, tips in there as well. Maybe even in every show have, uh, have a couple of pro tips in there as well. Uh, just to keep it um, interesting for you guys as well. Okay, so that's all I wanted to cover uh, on this episode. I want to see your photos, uh, that's, the, that's the key thing. Uh, I've see, I see a lot of photos on a regular basis, um, fairly obsessed. Um, but yeah, send me your photos to see what kind of quality we've got out there in the community at the moment. Um, if you have any questions, you can use the hashtag TNPS um, and we will try and get those questions answered. We've got about five episodes written uh, and ready to film uh, now. 
so your questions will be answered from episode six onwards. But yeah, this is your show, guys. So what, what, whatever you want to see, that's what we'll try and do. Uh, if you want to see interviews with other photographers, if you want to see camera reviews, lens reviews, flash reviews, whatever, uh, we'll try and get those done. And uh, yeah, just um, keep shooting. And I will see you next time. It's a bit of an intense look, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. The idea of the show is to be useful for all. For the idea, of, the idea of the show is uh, for photographers. The idea of the show is that it's a useful resource for photographers of all levels, uh, whether you are looking to get into night photography or have some experience in the field as it is. Mm.